The launch campaign has started with the arrival of the first Antonov cargo plane on the 19th of June. The spacecraft arrived on the second and third cargo plane in three different containers and was transferred to S1 payload facilities with ground support equipment. Mechanical and electrical checks have started right after the arrival in S1. Spacecraft project had a standby period during the summer, then final preparations were performed before spacecraft transfer to S3 fueling facilities on the 2nd of October. Metopsy has started propellant filling operation on the 8th of October. Fueling operations were performed until the 11th of October. Combined operations with launcher have started on the 19th of October with flight mating on payload adapter. Metopsy was transferred onto the frigate stage on the 25th and encapsulated under fairing on the 30th of October. The Soyuz launch readiness review held on Monday, November the 5th, authorized the beginning of the final chronology today to launch the VS-19 mission. In parallel of the frigate preparation, the three stage underwent the standard uh, pneumatic and electrical tests in the MIG building, the facility for the launcher integration and testing. Also, additional mechanical controls were performed, which involved the uh, dismounting of the lateral boosters and the reattachment on the recall stage. As uh, elements of the next Soyuz launchers were already deployed in the MIG building, some uh, complementary movements of the launcher blocks had to be performed to allow the operations for up to three Soyuz launch campaigns in parallel. The uh, rollout of the three stage from the MIG building and transfer on the launch pad has been performed on D-3 last Friday, as well as the transfer of the upper composite with Metop C and Frigat from the S3B onto the launcher. Rest rehearsals of uh, the spacecraft, the three stage, and Fregat were successfully performed on D 2 and D 1. Once the ground installations and uh, the launcher are prepared, we should conclude with the fueling of the launcher starting at H0 minus 4.5 hours and the final chronology phase before liftoff. A special thank you goes to all the operational teams for the huge efforts and contribution to take us through this very smooth launch campaign. Thank you for watching.